Hello, welcome back to fifth grade green math. I'm Linwood Fields, your green instructor. In lecture 10, we're going to show you that division is just quick repeated subtraction. The objective, you should be able to demonstrate that division is quick repeated subtraction. Let us show that division is simply a quick way of doing subtraction with an example. Let's assume that we want to divide 10 by 2. You already know that 10 divided by 2 is 5 with a remainder of 0. However, Another way to think about this is as follows. How many times can I subtract two from 10? Every time that I subtract two, I ask myself, do I have two or more left over? If the answer is yes, then I subtract two again. But if the answer is no, we are finished. We start out with 10 quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take away 2 quarters, and we have 8 quarters remaining. So 8 quarters remain after subtracting one time. Ask yourself, do we have two or more quarters left? In the last slide, we had eight quarters left. Yes, eight is more than two, so we have at least two left. So take away two more. If we take away two from the eight on the last slide, we have six quarters remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six. So after the second subtraction, we have six quarters remaining. Ask yourself, do we have two or more quarters left? Yes, six is more than two, so we take away two more quarters. And now we have four. One, two, three, four. So after doing three subtractions, we have four quarters. Ask yourself, do we have two or more quarters left? Yes, we got four left. Four is more than two. So we take away two more quarters. And then we have two remaining. So we have one, two quarters remaining after subtracting four times. Ask yourself, do we have two or more quarters left? Yeah, we have exactly two quarters left. So you take away two more quarters again. So after we take these two quarters away, zero quarters remain after subtracting five times. Because zero is less than two, then we stop subtracting. Since we have zero quarters left, and because zero is less than two, we are finished. So our finished row will have either zero or a number less than the divisor. So remember, two is the divisor in this problem. So in the finished row, we're gonna have zero or a number less than, we're gonna have less than the number less than the, the in the finished row, we're going to have less than the divisor. Zero is less than two. We ask ourselves, how many times did we subtract the divisor or two in this example? We subtracted off two quarters a total of five times. Therefore, 10 divided by two is five with a remainder of zero. 
Which is quicker, repeated subtraction or using division to do repeated subtraction? Of course, using division to perform repeated subtraction is quicker. Let's look at another example. Again, let us verify that division is just a quick way of performing subtraction. However, this time the remainder will not be zero. Let us divide 11 by four. Another way to think about this is as follows. How many times can I subtract four from 11? Every time I subtract four, I ask myself, do I have four or more left over? If the answer is yes, then I subtract four again. If the answer is no, then we are finished. We're going to start out with 11 stars. Subtract the divisor, which is four. 11 stars take away four stars and we have seven stars left. Is the result of seven greater than or equal to four? Yes, seven is larger than four. So we subtract all four more stars. Seven stars minus four stars is equal to one, two, three stars. Is the result greater than or equal to or equal to four? Is the result greater than or equal to four? No. Three is less than four. So we are finished in our finished row, which shows the remainder. We have three stars left. So this right here is our finished row. We'll write the word finished because the number left is less than the divisor. We ask ourselves, how many times did we subtract the divisor? We subtracted the divisor, which is four, we subtracted four two times. After the last subtraction, three was left over. So the answer is two with a remainder of three, just like we expected. Let me erase this. Here's an activity that will give the students practice verifying that division is repeated subtraction. Please perform this activity. In summary, division is quick repeated subtraction. This was a somewhat of a short lecture. But again, thanks for your attention. I hope to see you for the next lecture. Have a great day.